Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. We are about 5 weeks out of Arnold Classic and we got an update of Samson Dauda, one of the heavy favorites to win this show. We got an update of his back, what it looks like right now and his, let's say, conditioning. Now, Samson is not somebody who ever really has shredded glutes. Are his glutes gonna be shredded at the Arnold? I honestly doubt that. I don't think it's gonna happen like that overnight. Maybe the next five years he will get them peeled at one show at some point, but at this Arnold Classic, I don't think so. There isn't enough time to make some drastic changes. However, his conditioning right now looks probably the same as it was on the Mr. Olympia stage. So is he gonna try and push it and get even more conditioned or is he gonna just try to maintain this conditioning and just get bigger and fuller in the process while maintaining the same conditioning that he brought at the Mr. Olympia stage? Of course, right here he's not dehydrated, he's not carved up, he hasn't really done all the protocols, all the crazy protocols that Milo Sarto is known for, so of course he's going to look much better after he peaks, but as far as body fat percent, I think he's pretty much there. So if he's on point basically with conditioning at 5 weeks out, I think that means he's going to be better at the Arnold than the Mr. Olympia for sure. We just don't know if he's gonna try to be bigger and fuller or he's gonna try to be more conditioned, we'll see. Now, as far as his back, muscularity-wise, if you expected me to analyze his back and tell you how much did his back progress, how much can a body part progress in like two months? Actually, less. It's been like 40 days or something like that. So, of course, his back is not gonna be a lot bigger, you know, it's gonna be probably the same size. Maybe if he brings better fullness, it's gonna look bigger and wider, but basically it's gonna be the same thing, and it looks like it stayed the same, of course. And also I heard Fuad Abiyad. Fuad Abiyad is sponsoring, of course, uh, Samson Dauda, and he is really rooting for him. He is saying he's gonna win the Arnold Classic, as he should. Samson is his athlete, he supports him, he believes in him. But Fuad said something very interesting. He said that not only Samson is lacking back, he is also lacking shoulders. And in the back shots, I don't see that. I mean, look at his freaking delts. They're freaking massive. Like, look at the size of those rear delts, of side delts, and I mean front delts as well. I guess front delts could be a little bit bigger, and maybe his overall shoulders could be wider and rounder from the front, but from the back, I wouldn't say so. I think from the back, he has a lot of muscle, a lot of width in those shoulders. Overall, Samson looks great, he seems to be in a great point right now, and again, he is one of the, I don't know, four or five guys who can win this show, I wouldn't be too surprised if Samson won or placed fifth after Nick Walker, Big Remy, uh, Andrew Jack and Sean Clarida, like all of those five guys can place wherever in that top five. That's how I see it, if you guys see it otherwise, tell me down below in the comment section, but now let's check out Sean Clarida actually. Sean Clarida has been posting a lot of photos, and I was not sure if those photos were recent, he never really says anything in the caption, so I assumed if he doesn't say that this is recent, then it's not, however, this time around he actually says, sitting 5 weeks out at 190 pounds. So he's 190 pounds. Guys, do you know how much Samson is weighing right now? I mean, nobody knows. He is doing that thing that he never really measures his weight in the offseason. But I am guessing he is way above 290. I'm guessing he's over 300 right now. Somewhere around 300. So right now, Samson Dauda weighs over 100 pounds more than Sean Clarida. But if you look at this back right here... Does it look better, thicker, more muscular, overall more impressive than Samson's back? I would have to say yes. I would have to say so. I mean, this back is a really freaking good back. As is everything on Jean Clarida, like he has all the body parts. But especially back. And back is not something that many competitors have developed at the level that Sean Clarida is at right now, so he's probably gonna expose some weak points on that stage. Samson Dauda, for example, Big Remy, for sure. I would say uh, Andrew Jack as well. And you have Nick Walker, who has a decent back, has a good back, but it's not like super, super dominant. It's not Nick's best body part. 
So I think if I was a batting man and if I had to say where Sean is going to place, I wouldn't have him higher than second. I don't see him beating Nick. Maybe, maybe, but not really. I can much easier see him beating everybody else. And I know, once again, Samson is like probably like 110 pounds heavier than Sean Clarida, but they're not going to measure their weight. It's all about how these guys look. And yeah, surely Samson is going to dwarf this guy, Sean Clarida. But just imagine if Sean Clarida outangles Samson a little bit, if he knows how to play that game, if he steps closer, he's going to look much, much bigger. And then if there isn't like a big, big discrepancy, big, huge difference size-wise, then it's gonna come down to who's a, who's a better, who's a more complete bodybuilder, and that size difference won't really matter that much. We'll see, I mean, Sean Clarida was able to beat Regan Grimes and Sergio Oliva, and Sergio wasn't at his, at his best, he was really poorly conditioned, uh, Regan is somebody who is like, I don't know, top 30 bodybuilders in the world, he's not top 6 like Samson, or top 4 like a Big Ramy, actually top 5 right now, or uh, top 3 like uh, Nick Walker, so those guys are like the best, the very best of the best in open, and this is a huge challenge for Sean Clarida, but he won the 212, and he does look damn impressive, so true to be said, anything is possible, really, we'll see, it's gonna be very interesting. Alright, next we have an update of Nathan Diasha. It's been a long time since we saw anything from this guy. I think the last time he competed was late 2021. He did a couple of shows like Prague Pro, like Yamamoto Pro Cup of France, I think, or uh, I think it was British uh, Armour Classic. He did a couple of shows, he won some and he qualified for the 2022 Mr. Olympia, and he was supposed to try and actually travel to the US and compete. As you guys know, he had issues getting to the US because of his legal problems, uh, but uh, he actually tore the bicep last year, and that's why he didn't prep. So now he's back, and he says that he's uh, back 10 weeks, so for 10 weeks he has been training seriously after he recovered his biceps, and he says uh, he's one year out, so he's gonna compete in one year from now, and again, it's gonna be some post-Olympia shows. He says that he's in the off-season right now, and he's eating like kebabs and... Uh, uh, whatever, like, he's not eating clean, he's eating a lot of junk food and, and, and easy food to eat, and he doesn't care, and if he does that, then, I mean, he looks amazing, and you guys know that Nathan is that kind of a guy, like, he's not too serious, like, he, he has fun doing bodybuilding, and he has crazy genetics, now, in this video right here, as you can see, he looks pretty good, I gotta say, Something is a little bit off with his stomach, especially that lower part, like the waist size is definitely bigger than it ever was. And overall, he's down in size basically everywhere, a little bit. So he has been training for 10 weeks now, and in those 10 weeks, he, I'm sure he got back a lot of the muscle that he lost while he was recovering from that bicep injury, and he got back most of it. You can see that he is not 100% back, but again, he is one year out, and in that one year, I'm sure he's going to regain all the size back, and not just regain the size, he's probably gonna get even bigger. So as you can see, this guy looks pretty, pretty nasty right now. And I think he belongs to that Mr. Olympia stage. It's really a shame uh, that we haven't really seen him uh, for so long uh, among the very best because he deserves to be there. And we're not going to see him this year as well. So he's one year out, but maybe in 2024, I hope so. Uh, right now, considering the fact that he is only 10 weeks back into training, he looks good. He definitely looks good and he's only going to get bigger and better. And again, I can't wait to see him back on stage and hopefully on the Mr. Olympia stage one day. I don't know if you guys caught this story today, but it seems like uh, Blasting of Audible injured himself. Uh, how bad this injury really is? Well, it really seemed like he tore a quad or something like that. Like he was being really dramatic and it looks like he's in serious pain. Like, look at him. Um, I mean, where he's holding, it doesn't look like he tore a tendon, it looks like it's like in the middle of the muscle belly, so that usually means that it's not really that bad, but I mean, the way he's reacting, he looks like he's in some serious pain, like he really messed something up, and he was training his legs really hard, as you can see, his legs look bigger, fuller, 
Uh, after this story, he posted a physique update with a caption, which basically says that his leg is fine. He had a little accident, but uh, it's, it's nothing serious. So I don't know what kind of an injury it was, uh, but as you can see, he's really pushing, and he says he's pushing crazy amounts of food, and you can see his stories, you can see what he's posting, like he's really trying hard, like he's really training, and it's those legs that are holding him back, like those legs are way, way worse than his upper body, they're really, really preventing him from being uh, really competitive among like the top, top 10 guys, which is where he wants to be, but he just can't seem to make it, and it's those legs, if he fixes those legs, if he gets them bigger, if he gets them big enough, which I don't really see happening, because it's mainly genetic, I mean, it, it, this guy is super, super massive in the upper body, look at the size of him, but his legs are still small, so I don't think it's that he doesn't know how to train them, or that he, I don't know, doesn't eat, or anything like that, I think it's, I mean, obviously, it's just genetic, so if he can, like, really push them, really punish them, go crazy with them, I think, I mean, he's lifting really heavy, as you can see, but I think better idea for him would be to do giant sets, you know, Milo Sharchev stuff, I think that stuff really gets legs to respond if you have genetically weak legs, I've seen that many times with guys who have really weak legs, they do giant sets and their legs grow, but I know how crazy, how, how tough it is to do giant sets with legs, so I understand him if he's not willing to do that, uh, maybe he's gonna grow these legs uh, with, you know, old school uh, classic style of training, like just doing straight sets, we'll see, anyways, he got this little injury, it seems like it's nothing serious, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing his final package after he adds all the mass that he wants to add, especially in those freaking legs. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. For more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.